Hey, it's Leila Nostrat. On this episode, I'm gonna bust three law school myths for you. So law school is pretty challenging as it is. That's why I decided to do this episode because I wanna help put a stop to some of these rumors that have been going around for generations in the legal community that have been creating nothing but stress and anxiety for law students. Number one, the first myth I'd like to bust open is that your law school grades and your law school class rank determines your success. Now, if you're one of those people who just loves to compete with other people, who just gets a kick out of it, who enjoys it, and who can't go to sleep at night unless they win at something, then good for you. You know, go get them, tiger. But please don't kill yourself and don't drive yourself and everyone around you crazy doing it. Because what matters more than your grades, more than your class rank is your drive, your tenacity, your ability to push yourself and go beyond your fears and your limitations. That's gonna take you a lot further than your grades will ever take you. Start focusing on yourself, on your progress. Don't compare yourself to other people. That's gonna make you a much happier and successful person. The second myth I'd like to bust open is that you have to know what kind of law you want to practice after law school when you're in law school. It's so much better not to limit yourself. Take this time that you have in law school and explore because the field of law is actually very vast. It's so vast, in fact, that I've known attorneys who've had successful careers focusing on a single statute and they didn't really know about that statute when they were in law school. So don't limit yourself. This is the time that you have to get the training that you want, to get exposed to the material as much as you want. So give yourself this freedom, give yourself room to explore different possibilities. The third myth is that you gotta be a great writer before law school to do well and to be a good writer in law school. If you are a great writer, then you definitely have a competitive advantage over other students but if you're not then you can still learn the skill in law school take me for example English is not my first language and I was in fact terrified of writing when I first started law school so in my first semester I actually spent the majority of my time practicing my legal writing so I devoted a lot of my time to my legal writing class and I ended up getting an A in that class. But a lot of students who were great writers before law school uh, didn't get the A's and they were shocked. So the moral of the story is that you can definitely train yourself. You can definitely become a good writer when you're in law school. Writing a legal paper is different from writing anything else. You're in law school to actually learn the skills. So don't limit yourself. So even if you are a great writer, be open to learning this skill, be open to uh, the process. Now I'd love to hear from you. Which one of these myths don't you agree with? In other words, you don't agree that they're a myth. You think that they're true. Or share one thing that you think is a myth, but people don't say that it's a myth. Comment below and let us know. Stay positive and keep your head up. I know that you can do this.